Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Phaser program. We've developed a series of short educational videos about phaser and pharmacogenomic testing at the VA. We invite you to view one or more of them to inform the use and application of testing. The goal of this first video is to provide an overview of the phaser program. Phaser stands for pharmacogenomics testing for veterans. To enable expanded access to pharmacogenomic testing, the VA and Sanford Health teamed up in late 2018 to establish the Phaser program. As part of this partnership, and due to the philanthropy of Sanford Health, the cost of these tests are fully covered. In the spring of 2019, the program was launched at the Durham, North Carolina VA Medical Center, where it's led by VA Durham and Duke Medical Center physician Deepak Vura, MD. As of February 2022, phaser testing is available in 23 VA healthcare systems with significant expansion of access to testing planned at additional VA locations. Phaser has the capacity to test up to 250,000 veterans nationwide, making it the largest clinical testing program in the United States. Pharmacogenomics, oftentimes referred to as PGX, is the study of genetic variations that influence an individual's response to medicines. The Phaser PGX test is a panel comprised of several genes that inform appropriate medication selection and or dosing. The current panel covers many commonly prescribed medications, including antidepressants, cardiovascular medications, and anti-inflammatory agents, among others. Any VA patient who is seen at an active phaser site is eligible for PGX testing. No specific diagnosis or need for a drug is required to order the phaser panel test. Phaser testing can be pursued without an indication for a medication or a specific diagnosis. In this setting, testing is stored in the medical record, just in case your patient is prescribed a medication in the future. The phaser panel test can also be ordered to inform prescribing near the time a specific medication is prescribed and meant to be used in the near term to inform prescribing. Lastly, the phaser panel test can be ordered retrospectively to investigate the potential cause of an adverse drug effect or treatment failure. You will also find that the phaser PGX test ordering process is overall user-friendly and efficient. In recognizing a provider's busy clinic schedule, ordering a test has been simplified and requires as few steps as possible. The general requirements around ordering the Phaser PGX test are 1. Document that you have spoken with your patient about the benefits and limitations of PGX testing, answer any questions, and that they agree to testing. A template is built into the electronic medical record to assist you with this process. Two. Place the PGX test order, which is conveniently linked to the documentation template. As with any patient interaction, we ask that you document the conversation related to phaser, regardless of whether they decide to undergo testing or not. For step-by-step -step instructional guide on how to document your phaser and PGX-related conversations, in addition to a step-by-step -step instructional guide on how to place the PGX test order, please refer to the video entitled, How to Order PGX Testing. Once the order for the PGX test is placed, your phlebotomy lab will have instructions to send a single tube of blood to Sanford Health Imaginetics Lab in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Test results may take up to two weeks to be returned and will appear in Vista Imaging once the report is signed out and ready for viewing. You will be notified when the results are available for your review. We have developed a number of patient-facing resources that you're welcome to use in your practice. We have also developed provider reference tools to aid you in the interpretation of these PGX reports, which are also highlighted in the video, Interpreting PGX Test Reports. Other provider-facing materials are available, such as a monthly newsletter, case conference, and more. If you'd like further information regarding any of these offerings, please email phaser at va.gov. You may also use the same email address for any other inquiries or feedback regarding the phaser program as well. Thank you for your time and attention throughout this video. We hope you find this information to be of value to you and your clinic. Should you have any questions and or feedback about this video or the Phaser program in general, please refer to our website or email phaser at va.gov.